Guys, here's my late 90s Air King 12 inch fan, model 9150K, all cleaned up. This fan came out really, really good. It came pretty much perfectly clean. All the dirt came off. Huge difference from when I got it, that's for sure. Got most of the glue off the base, too. Still looking for a new plate to put there of some sort. Don't really care what color it is, I just want one to put there. Got the old school Air King badge, still. I think they used that until the early 2000s sometime. Like I said, huge difference in the way this fan looks. Everything's nice and white. Nothing's yellowed on this fan at all, which is really surprising. It's weird that that nut that holds the back grill on looks yellowed on camera. It's not. It's perfectly white, just like the rest of the fan. I know the lighting still kind of sucks over here. There's only one light over my head right now. I'm going to get some more that can aim at the bench when I do videos. This fan has the creakiest oscillator of every fan I own. It's the only thing that's wrong with it and the reason I don't really use it that much. But here is low. Other than the oscillator creaking a lot, runs like brand new. I did put some oil in it, although it did run okay. Still oiled it up real good. This fan's really powerful too. Even on low it moves a decent bit of air. Let's see if I can get that head a bit straighter. There we go. Here's medium. This fan has an insanely powerful motor. I'm done showing the speeds and the oscillator and stuff. I'm going to show you guys a direct to high on this thing because it's ridiculous. It's almost instant. You know, medium is blowing a ton of air. Watch the instant jump. Set up the speed immediately. I really think they used a 16 inch fan motor in these 12 inch ones. It's not high. It looks like it could definitely run a 16 inch blade, no problem. So we'll go back down low and we'll turn the very creaky oscillator on. You guys will see what I mean. Creaks on both sides. It's pretty irritating. Doesn't slow the fan down any though. And here's high. And turn off the oscillator and shut the fan off and I'm just done coasting down I'm gonna turn it straight to high it doesn't have a very heavy blade so it doesn't have that long of a coast down time now let me show you how fast this thing takes off it's like immediate it has a little bit of a startup sound too and you start it straight to high Let's see if I can get it once the fan stops Good enough. It's like just a hum and a little whir. Yeah, this thing's a really cool fan. Definitely meant to be very powerful and move quite a bit of air for a big room because this thing pushes air really far. I like using this fan when I cook because no matter where I set it in the kitchen, I can still feel it at the stove. It just moves that much air. It's almost like a, I guess you could say a high velocity table fan. It's meant to push air farther than normal fans would at this time. Anyway, that's it for this video. So, as usual, thank you guys for watching. And I hope all you guys enjoyed.